Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. In case the liberal mainstream media ignores this story, we will spread the words ourselves, you and I. An armed gunman opened fire today at a high school about 100 miles outside of Chicago, Illinois. The gunman was a 19-year-old former student. He opened fire in an auditorium at the school filled with current seniors who were there practicing for their graduation. In response to the gunman's threat, the school resource officer, who was armed, did his job by returning fire. The gunman was hit but not killed, and the attack was thwarted. The school resource officer, a man by the name of Mark Dallas, he is a hero. He averted a mass school shooting. Neither Officer Dallas nor any of the other students in the auditorium getting ready for their graduation were harmed or hurt. In other words, a good guy with a gun stopped a bad guy with a gun. An armed school resource officer stopped a school shooter trying to wage a mass murder attack. Imagine what could have happened if the good guy with a gun wasn't allowed to have that gun. Imagine the scene in this auditorium on the last day of school if these students were sitting ducks with no means of defense. Well, thank God for the bravery of Officer Mark Dallas. Thank God he was armed with a means to protect himself and these students. And what can we learn from this? Guns don't kill people. People kill people. A good guy with a gun is the best defense against maniac killers. The answer to school shootings isn't banning guns or demonizing high-capacity magazines. It's making sure students are safe by giving teachers and guards the adequate means to thwart attempted attacks and shootings. Yes, that means giving school guards and qualified teachers firearms. Now, mark my words, the liberal media will ignore this story. They won't touch it because the fact that a man with a gun saved lives, that debunks the entire liberal narrative on gun control. But we'll remember, you and I, when liberals tell us they don't want armed guards in schools, they don't want qualified teachers to conceal carry to protect their students, they don't want schools to have a militant or prison atmosphere, we'll remember, you and I, this story of a heroic school guard with a gun who stopped a school shooter. God bless Officer Mark Dallas. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.